is a guaranteed entertainment when you watch him. He's one of the top seeds. He is over on board six. He's taking on Christoph Kachuk, 96. the Polish number two. And he's getting walloped. He's 4-0 down to Christoph, who in the last few months has really taken a big step forward in his career. Ian White looking for the double five for a 130. There it is. Now we can take out the double first time of asking. Excellent leg of darts. Steve West on a... Well, it's been a rare leg where Steve West has been right there with Ian White with the scoring. Ninety-seven. But the thing is, even in a poor scoring leg for Ian White, that's all Steve West is doing. He's with him. He's not got any real 92. advantage. Because this could go. Two trebles they regularly go for. Oh, yes. Oh, not quite. Ian White wants in the 57 and then the 36 to wrap it up 6-2. But what he will do 93. is come back with two match darts if this doesn't go. Oh, and he's missed the big number. And Steve West Four throws three. that last one away. We've seen that plenty of times before. And unfortunately for Steve, he's seen that a lot of late. Double top for 6-2. Ooh, very nearly in the fives. Game but that one match, is White. where it needs to be. Ian White with a comprehensive victory over Steve West. The number 15 seed scoring. <laughs> yeah, the, the normal Steve West game just wasn't there. The scoring wasn't there either. So 44. it was not a good day. It's not a good week for Steve West. It's been a good game from this man. Can he finish it in style? Well, that's begging to be joined. And it is joined. Ooh, the showboat pause from Ron Mullenkamp. Didn't ah. quite work out the way it envisaged. <laughs> I mean, he spent so long looking at that marvellous second art. Really congratulating him. Oh, Ron, you are so good 60. at... Oh, I missed. Oh. He was the creative <laughs> midfielder who played the through ball and forgot to get onto the end of the cross, <laughs> admiring his pass. Game shot. And well, a lot to admire there as he pins the double five. And Ron Mullenkamp just too strong for Lisa Ashton on the day. It's another early exit for the Lancashire Rose. The four-time Ladies World Champion will be back tomorrow. One more chance. Leave a finish. And now Heaver has half a dozen darts for a remarkable turnaround in this match. Sixty-two remaining. Treble fourteen, I think. 88 was the target, unless he's miscounted there. And just needs to get that last dart out of his 100. head here, Jason Heaver. He knows what he needs. He knows how to get it. Game shot and the match. And Jason he has Heaver. got it. And he's turned this around from 3-0 and 5-3 down. He's reeled off the last three legs to defeat Daryl Gurney. It's because it's a two-dart, another three-dart. 65. Well, I think that's an intelligent 25. He takes the bullseye out of commission for the leg if he's given a shot. Top stops. There's one. 80. Just underneath. Ran out of real estate, didn't he? Need an extra pasture. Oh, you just see the exasperation as he misses his fourth match dart and Lukeman's at tops again. Okay. And he smashes it for 5-5. Five, five. We're going down to a one-leg shootout. Well, that is a remarkable game of darts. One right. But this one's a lot easier. Oh, that doesn't help. He's on 99 now. The worst possible place it could have gone. Absolutely. He'd rather have been 80. a single one. He's left himself on double 11, which is not <coughs> favourable, but it's a double. Well, I said this match is beggared belief. This would beggar belief. And Bradley Brooks has just won on the other streaming board against Robert Thornton by six legs to four. 98. This one's gone one leg further. Can Jeff Smith find the roundhouse punch to finish smash off? Game shot and the well, match. Well, it finishes on a lesser scene double, and perhaps that's fitting for the way this match has gone. Double 11, gets the 11th leg won 
for Jeff Smith. And he finally stumbles over the line against Martin Lukeman, who was tenacious in that tie. Staying on the 20s. 85. Could have gone to the 17s, of course. But it's very tight at the end of this match. 67 left, and that leaves double eight. And if McDyne hits this, this will be some way to finish a match. 60 bull. Not far off. He fancied it. He thought he was going to get that. 91. Peter Wright, three darts at a more favorable double. He'd much rather have double eight than double 19. Game shot. Beautifully Animat, done Peter from Wright. Snakey. It's a 17 darter. He had to survive a few scares there, but those two pals who have known each other a very, very long time, have just had a cracking 11-leg match. And maybe he's just trying something to break himself out of it, but it doesn't seem to me like it's the most sensible way of going about his business. He knows his game better than I. 145. That's a great position for Mikkel to finish this one 6-2. The game of darts is extremely Dude. difficult to play when you're looking this upset. Well, Ryan Meikle has ground Luke Humphreys down with some top quality darts. But Luke Humphreys has contributed to his own downfall, in my opinion. Ryan Meikle to book his place in the next round. 45. He will get more chances. One match dart missed, but more are coming in. 100. It is pressure, but you fancy Meikle is going to get the job done. Game and shot. he does get the, the job done. Ryan. Just too good on the outer ring. And Humphreys gets the apology that I hate to see at the end of a match. But those two close pals, they do have to duel now and again. Humphreys goes into day four, whereas Ryan Mikkel goes into round three. We One of the worst darts he's thrown in the entire match, that. 112. And then look how he follows it up. Oh, double ten. Kuyfenhoven hits back. My word. He may have to survive a match dart to do so. One dart for the match. He has been almost flawless on his doubles all game, Mike Kuyfenhoven. But he misses right at the end, and it might be the only chance he gets to win it. 82 for the Iceman. Oh, my word. It's got to be treble 14 now. It's gone in. It's gone out. How much metal was there? Very, very little. And it's denied him a chance to win the game. That is cruel, oh. cruel stuff. The Iceman... A little punch of the board. I don't think it was particularly forceful. Game and shot. double eight for Kyvenhoven. That is an absolutely magnificent contest. The world number one and world champion cruelly denied a match dart after his attempt at the 82 checkout. So his first dart come out of the bullseye when it looked like it touched nothing but red sizal. That'd be an absolute best. But he's averaging over a ton here, Michael Van Gerwen, and Rob Cross has still been good enough to be in the lead, 5-4, and on the verge of victory. 95. And he has stolen the darts here, Rob Cross, with a fabulous chance. His best chance for literally years to beat Michael Van Gerwen. 100. Forty-one. One hundred and twenty-five. Two darts away, potentially. Rob Cross. From a victory that could play a huge role in determining who gets the title today, but also 
a hugely significant one for him personally. 17 leaves double top for the match. The three-year wait for victory over Mighty Mike is finally over for Voltage. A 6-4 win. He's through to the quarterfinals. Mighty Michael Van Gerwen, the wait for another title, goes on. He's still drawn a blank in 2021. And I kind of... My reason for not putting De Sousa in was because I was just worried that he might go for the wrong thing. In the framing that Nicholson put the question, that was very important, that he didn't go for the wrong thing. You can imagine the way it was asked. This is very important. 140. Now then, the ferret. Not pressured in any way here. And makes it look very, very simple. That's an 11 data to level up at four apiece. He's the Masters champion. He might be the champion of Players' Championship 15. Because he's got match darts to beat Jose de Souza to come from 2-0 down. 66. But he's blown them. And could this be the three tops? Will he dare? He doesn't dare. Might be bull bull, this. Maybe it should have been. 60. Clayton can win it in the madhouse. It's his favourite double. You wouldn't know it from that dart. No score. Or that one. Well, well, well. Johnny Clayton can't get the job done. Having to shuffle across, the dart is sitting up and blocking part of that bed. He'll move back for a clear target. 40. But he cannot force a last leg decider. Well, he cannot complain that he didn't have chances. Johnny the ferret for a spot in the semis. Is that a help? No, sir. no it's not. He's done it again. You can't find the special double one. And he allows a special one, a route back into this match. On the wire once again. To the wire. 20 is a big, big blow to Johnny Clayton's hopes. Got to fill it up, Johnny. Oh, great effort. Great effort. Well, this is the standard that both of these players have been producing for some time now. To respond to a 180 by hitting one yourself. And then to respond by doing it again. Absolutely magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Two of the finest arts players on the planet right now. Going at it. Hammer and tongs. They're both on potential 11 darters. De Sousa gets the first crack. Double top. Double 10. And he's done it. He dodges bullets from the ferret. But Jose de Souza could do the double. He won yesterday. Tournament, but here we are. And what an opportunity it is. Eighty-six. Just straying into the three segment, meaning de Souza's got a couple of visits from here. Treble 20 and ball. Does he go for it? I think he is. Game show. Oh, of course he is. I say to Souza. Well, well. Move to the 18s to leave the 170. 140. Would have been some way to finish it. It's not going to happen in this visit, and Rob Cross will have to take out 140 Six. potentially to keep his hopes alive for a little while longer in this tournament. He's had a great day, Rob Cross. He's played brilliantly. His first win against Michael Van Gerwen for three years. Ninety-two. And a run to the semi-final is a big step for him as he looks get to get back to winning ways. Fifty-six. But he hasn't been put to bed just yet. 16 for the double. With Jose de Souza poised. Two darts potentially away from the final. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, you can see. And it's one of those that has kicked over to the right-hand side, making it even more awkward. 16. That's been a, a recurring problem for Rob Cross in recent months. 
But Jose de Souza has been a recurring problem for everybody else in the world of darts for quite some time now. Take and he is a problem that is not do. going away because the Grand Slam champion wins it 7-2. He has hit an astonishing 32 180s today 